There is only one presence and one power within me and throughout the universe. God, the good, omnipotent. God is all, both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God, and I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. Our mission at Unity Church of Chatsworth is to help each other and all who come to us awaken to the creative power of the indwelling and eternal presence of God in ways that will bring amazing new good into our lives and into the world. The Unity Daily Word we focus on today comes to us from Monday, March 18th, 2019, and the word is understanding. Our affirmation, the truth of my being is revealed through spiritual understanding. Confidence in living is a natural result of spiritual understanding from knowing a deeper connection with God. In each decision I make throughout the day, I trust my inner wisdom because I understand this oneness, my alignment with divine guidance. My understanding expands to encompass others. The same spiritual connection I experience is one that they too have available. If I am concerned about loved ones, I keep them in my heart through thought and prayer, affirming they are guided as well. I understand and trust that the wisdom of God is limitless. It is the true source of inspiration and insight. Our scripture with this daily word comes from Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Our word for today is understanding and our affirmation. The truth of my being is revealed through spiritual understanding. And so it is. Amen. I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life love and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase my mortal limitations and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation my world according to thy perfect law.
from the Gospel of John, chapter 20. Then he, Jesus, said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. The Metaphysical Meaning of Understanding. There are two ways of getting understanding. One is by following the guidance of spirit that dwells within, and the other is to go blindly ahead and learn by hard experience. Intellectual understanding of truth is a tremendous step in advance of sense consciousness, and its possession brings a temptation to use wisdom and power thereby revealed. Spiritual understanding is the quickening of the spirit within. Spiritual understanding is the ability of the mind to apprehend and realize the laws of thought and the relation of ideas to one another. From the Twelve Powers by Charles and Cora Fillmore. Chapter 8, Understanding. Reference to the dictionary shows the words wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and intelligence to be so closely related that their definitions overlap in a most, it says, confusing way. The words differ in meaning. But various writers on the mind and its faculties have given definitions of these words in terms that directly oppose the definitions of other writers. From the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary edited by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. Metaphysical meaning of Thomas. Thomas, joined, conjoined, doubled twain twin. One of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. This disciple is also called Didymus. Thomas is the disciple of Jesus Christ who represents understanding faculty in man. Understanding and will function or should function in unison. Each has its center of activity in the front of the brain, the forehead. From the chart of the 12 powers, we see that the Faculty of understanding is represented by the disciple Thomas, the color is gold, and the body area is the front of the brain. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle, and God bless you. God bless you, Reverend John. And God bless all this uh, beginning of July 2021. God bless you all. And yes, we're going to say happy 4th of July to our happy, congregation, happy our, community, to our YouTube community. Yes. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> as we begin a study of spiritual understanding represented by Thomas, Michelle, one of the 12 yes. disciples of Jesus. 
often, and, often known as gouting Thomas, which we'll get into more of later as we move along. Yes. All right, good. Again, our three points as we begin under the heading of what do we need to understand? Michelle, what do we need to understand about Thomas? What do we need to understand about understanding? Mm -hmm. And I have a note here. Are we talking uh, spirit, spirit, mind, and body? Or are we talking mind, body, and spirit? Mm -hmm. And so our three points will be point number one. What is spiritual understanding? Point number two. What is sense focus understanding? Mm -hmm. And then finally, something called trial and error, or what is uh, intellectual understanding. So those are our three points for today. Mm -hmm. uh, but Michelle, I understand you have a, another scripture. I started out with the reading from John from the Gospels, and I quoted a scripture. And Michelle has, I think it's the scripture before. Yes. So it kind of leads us into the story. And she's going to lead into the microphone <laughs> right now. So we're talking about Thomas, the disciple, who, as I mentioned, is the considered the doubting Thomas. And these are the scriptures from John, the, uh, the, the, from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. So this is the entire story. Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. So a week later, the disciples were in the house and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Stop doubting and believe. Thank you, Michelle, mm -hmm. for the, the rest of the, the story. Of the, story. Yeah. For the complete reading. And we're going to start with point number one, which is spiritual understanding. And I would just like to point out in our Bible story, in the example that you read, thank you again for reading. That sometimes uh, we are, we come in late to the story or late to the example or late to our understanding when, in fact, spiritual understanding is always present. That is to say, our intuition already knows the truth. So there are times when uh, I hear from time to time, just tell me the facts or the facts, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Just tell me the facts. Or there are some times when I can say, hmm, you know, you don't have to tell me the facts. I already know and I already understand. I can just feel it in my heart, in my mind, in my head. I know even what you're going to say. And it comes from a place, I'm going to say a higher place. And so point number one really is. Sometimes we just know uh, the truth. Sometimes we just uh, spiritually, we, I'm going to say we have that inner sense, that inner sense as I'm touching my heart mm -hmm. and my head, that uh, something is true. And as you say that, you touch your heart and you say, I just feel that it's true. Right. And this to me is separate from our second point that we're going to get into, which is sense understanding. The spiritual understanding, the intuitive knowing is just a place of settling in peacefully and just knowing, like you said, you're, you're talking, speaking to your heart, not from the intellectual, not from the hearing, not from any of the other senses, but just that place of peace and, and knowing. An example I'm going to give is, and I've given this example before, in, uh, in fact, the uh, Unity Church of Lake Orion is that there would be times that we would drive to that location or that church family. And there would be times when we would be driving uh, in, in a area where it was wooded or there was farmland. And I could, from time to time, I could sense movement mm. in the bushes ahead, or I could sense 
And in fact, there was a deer. And you slow down. I and... would slow down and I would be careful with uh, uh, watching for the what my intuition was telling me was what uh, what really what was what was ahead. Mm -hmm. what was ahead so i was i felt alerted not by something i uh, intellectually could see touch taste or smell and that's the next point but something i just spiritually sensed it i'm going to say from my intuition hmm, maybe it was your connection to the deer all right or the deer's <laughs> connection to me yeah. for that matter okay uh, point number two is sense understanding and again i'm talking the five sense understanding that we all know about mm -hmm. and many of us uh, feel that we need to rely on our uh, five senses that that is to say we need to taste it touch it hear it see it or smell it mm -hmm. those are the five senses and i recall uh, the, the bible is a story from time to time about those who are even addicted to uh, five sense understanding and there's nothing wrong with sense understanding. I mean, that's where we receive information as, as human beings. We receive information through our senses. Or many of us started that way. Certainly. certainly. Or certainly started that way when we came into our uh, birthing or life experience mm -hmm. that we relied on uh, sense of taste, touch, smell. I said, right now I'm remembering uh, being a small child and I remember the smells in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I can remember uh, the taste of milk. Oh, and that's, that's an interesting point, too, because yes. as you approach a home and feeling of safety and comfort, smell is so important because you'll open the door and you'll smell what, I don't know, what mom or dad or whoever is cooking for dinner that night, and that gives you a sense of safety, but that's coming through our sense of smell. And some say they can see that, they can see or sense that butterfly, and that butterfly goes up and <laughs> little girl giggles because she doesn't know about flight but she knows something wonderful and beautiful is just presented in front of her eyes in front of her eyes in front yes. of her senses yes. we can say point number three and a very interesting topic today michelle mm -hmm. uh, because uh many of you know that michelle is a uh, registered nurse she has uh in fact two degrees in nursing so sometimes we have that conversation about something called evidence-based research, yes. trial and error, mm -hmm. or uh, Charles Fillmore calls it intellectual understanding sometimes. Yes. And intellectual understanding is good. As a matter of fact, the reading this morning, we were talking about that uh, that kind of understanding is a way to, uh, uh, in a measured environment, uh, note that you're making progress. Yes. So in trial and error, as we talked about in research, we are looking at factual information as it sits in front of us and as things develop in research and mistakes that are made in doing research and, and things that are done to support. support the research that we're doing. You start mm -hmm. out with a premise or a thesis and you build the information to support that. And that's trial and error. And that's from the intelligence, the intellectual side of our human brain. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, we're talking about mind, body, and spirit. Our points, number one, number two, and number three, we're actually talking about uh, what is your orientation to understanding. Yeah. And again, we're using Thomas and understanding. And again, we're using metaphor or metaphors, our study. It's intended to, I'm gonna use another metaphor, shed a new light mm -hmm. on a familiar subject because we're all familiar with doubting thomas yes. so spiritual understanding spiritual knowing from our intuitive knowing or we could even say our connection to the spirit the universe higher source with, our higher source that understanding can come from that spiritual understanding god is blessing you right where you are right here and right now we say God is blessing me right here and right now. And then we have the sense of understanding coming from our five senses. That understanding from what we can, as Thomas said, see or touch. 
and from a compassionate place. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we understand, Thomas. We've all we've all been there. Yes, we've all been there at one time in our in our lives. And then finally, uh, this intellectual trial and error. And as we move from this lesson to future lessons in the month of July in particular, we're going to talk about, uh, again, all of these points. But today is a good starting place, Michelle. So we're going to say, uh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God. God. Again, point number one, understanding. What are we here to understand? From a spiritual place, point number one. Point number two, we are here to understand from point number two that we can focus on only our sense, our five sense oriented or focus of mm -hmm. understanding. And then finally, point number three, it's called uh, intellectual understanding, or you can go to college for that, Michelle. <laughs> Not, not just nursing school, but in a measured way, we're talking about understanding from trial and error. It is has been called. So again, Michelle, we're going to say thank you, thank you for our Bible story and our Bible example. Yes. And as we move forward in this month, in this day, we say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Take a deep breath in. And we say thank you, God. Thank you, God. And we take a third breath in and we say, mm, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Let us prepare for a time of prayer and meditation. Let us pray. And let us close today with our prayer for protection 
by James Dillard Freeman. Together, the, the light, light of, of God, God surrounds, surrounds us. us. The, the love of God, God enfolds us. us. The power of God protects us. us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Our offertory blessing today, together. Divine love, through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise, give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word, website dailyword.com.